Welcome to Cloudy Knit Crochet. My name is Lori. I would love to crochet up a storm with you. So please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Thank you. In episode 21, I will be sharing my finished object, the How I Felt 2021 Crochet Along that Bev was doing on her channel, Knitmer Knittery. Okay, here's Coco. She just came back from the beauty salon. Hi, Coco. Are you a good girl, Coco? Here is a photo of my crochet bag before I start the felting process. The type of yarn I used was Patton's Classic Wool. It was a weight four. And the three colors I used were Aran, Brown Mustard, and Pine. In the next two segments, you will be seeing my son and I felting the bag. So I have my son helping me to do the felting of the bag. Um, I didn't think I'd have enough strength to do it all on my own. So him and I are gonna take turns. So it's definitely a family affair. I've so far have had my youngest daughter on an episode, my two grandsons, and now I have my son. So here we go. We'll see uh, how long this takes us. All right, so my son worked on it for 30 minutes and oh my gosh, I am so glad he was home to help me. I just did it for 10 minutes and I am wiped out. I don't know how I could have felt this bag all by myself. So, Thank you, Brandon, for helping me out. Okay, so the felted bag is all done. Uh, between my son and I, it took about 50 minutes. And, oh my gosh, it was so much fun to do. And I really like how it looks so different. You can't even see, like, the crochet stitches. And it feels really nice. I decided not to make the little flap come down. Um, my plan is I'm going to attach one of my grandmother's buttons right here. And then I just made a little chain stitch here that I'll um, wrap around the button. Um, I'm kind of wishing I made a little more chains here. So I hope I could get that to wrap around a button, but I'll wait till I, um, everything dries before I add that button to my bag. So thank you, Bev. I had so much fun doing your crochet along. Now I like to show you the difference before you felt and after you felt. If you are interested in learning how to do the felting process after you crochet or knit a project, I will leave that information in the description box below. Again, thank you, Bev, for doing such a fun crochet along. Thank you for watching my channel. Bye for now until we meet again.